Hey, are you part of the 1% and getting your ass out of bed today? Or are you part of the 99% and hitting the snooze button and rolling over and not starting your day just yet? When you live every day in a way that makes you feel good, does it really matter what name you call the day or the loop? This first 14 minutes of the show here is called The Loop. It's the first 14 minutes to get you guys going, to get you guys, get your ass out of bed, get you moving forward in life. Man, if, if you're going to do something like that, you got to shit on your own territory. You can't go shit on someone else's. That's just like a slap in the face. Did you just shit in the park? I'm calling the cops. They kicked the couple of elderly couple out of the park because the old man was shitting on the ground. You could literally walk up next to a police officer. Shit, how you doing today? Drop your drawers, take a dump on the sidewalk right next to him. And he can't do a damn thing about it. Good morning, good time. Good to have you here this morning in the lab. I told myself in my 20s, I'm never getting a job. I'm always going to work for myself. And then Dave is going to be like, yeah, I said, fuck the bank. We got the purple freaking shit paper from Sours and Company from royal restrooms that is exceptional victor is like that really sensitive type skin like in your mouth where shit just absorbs into that I open a door catch a whiff okay what am i dealing with here is this a deep breath hold your breath type scenario or can i take a couple breaths once i get inside most people play it safe in life are you one of them are you one of those people that play it safe in life because if you're chasing trends if you're chasing trends you're just hanging on stop copying stop settling start owning start making your own rule don't no, don't wait for permission because you are made to fit in. Build a life around your vision of success. We got a guy who is leading a team of developers to reinvent how software is built in education. He's passionate about people being real, being themselves, owning their authenticity. Jaws was the movie that came out that made everyone afraid of sharks. A lot of people know that. Before that, people were not afraid to go in the ocean as much. The, it things, that, the things that kick us in the nuts the hardest are always going to be the biggest opportunity. When you get kicked in the nuts and you're on your hands and knees, you literally, you should be thinking, shit, I can see things different here. What am I supposed to see? <laughs> Laughter actually has your brain releasing chemicals that make you happy. The only morning show to get you guys going, get your ass going and not hit the snooze button. Give me some comedy that you hear it and you're like, there's almost like a second layer of laughter to it. You gotta be careful now because you offend everybody now. I wonder if comedy's become diluted because we have so much content around us everywhere. As I'm getting a little bit older in life, I don't know if I like this idea of dehumanizing humans anymore. I don't know, I don't know where there's humor in that. Eddie Murphy's Raw was one of the most pivotal comedy movies of my lifetime. No question about it. There, if you're watching it today, it is... Oh, man. It's, it's, a, it's a different creature now. It's, it's horrible. Why is it that we can't joke on everybody? Now, let's say you got a, a black comedian. He's making jokes about white people. Yes. Totally fine. Yes. But now, when a white comedian is making jokes about black people, which is probably funny, but you got people getting offended. We are here to help you achieve the biggest goals. Right now, coming up, C. Marty Fit, Christopher Martin, is going to get into the C. Marty Fit tip. Something to get you guys moving and get you thinking about today. How do you be part of the one percent we're going to get into it coming up in two minutes i guarantee you the one percent if they were watching something that offended them they would turn it off and move away and never think about it again 85 percent of people report feeling pressure to present a perfect image on social media now here's the burden of perfectionism social media and workplace culture often drive the idea that perfection equals success but it's a myth that leads to burnout if you can embrace that fear overcome it turn it into what's exciting and motivating that is where the sauce is that's the power i just thought you know what i gotta recalibrate with what's really important in life focus on people the people in my life not this online noise and it centered me and it brought a lot of perspective authentic means that you have the guts to be yourself and the idea of trying to create something for social media, especially with the idea that it's going to be perfect, is the guaranteed way for you not to get what you want. You can't put on that mask forever. If you're that same guy everywhere, then you you found your way to not give a shit what everybody else thinks about who you are. You're being truly who you are. And that's what it's all about. You just got to go for it because ultimately you're going to find your goal. You're going to connect with who is important, who matters to you, and you're going to make a really big difference. If you could have more energy, if you could have more focus, if you could have the tools to have a better day every day, wouldn't you do it? Especially if it was simple. 7% of people say that nostalgia provides comfort and helps them cope with stress. Exercise, laughter, nostalgia, 
Take care of yourself. And these are ways to take care of yourself physically and mentally. I see nothing wrong with it. This whole thing that we're doing, this life thing, is all about balance and moderation. Go love your wife. Go love your family. Go love yourself. Go achieve all those goals. They're going to talk breaking through plateaus. They're going to talk biohacking. They're giving you guys advice. You're not going to get anywhere. Your body didn't just hit its plateau, and that's where you got to stay the rest of your life. That's not how this works. The body is a highly adaptive creature based upon its, its program to survive. There's no such thing as a physical limit. Your body is going to adapt to what you put it through. So you can take your body to the next level. The body will adapt. The question is, the person that's trying to do something a little bit more challenging every day, do they have the nuts to continue that on a daily basis? It's impossible to shovel sunshine. And I choose to reside in those places. Leaders who are perceived as authentic are two times more likely to and loyalty in their teams. If you can trust someone, you'll go with them. You'll go with them far and wide. The trends are for the average man, and I am. I take a big stance. I don't want to be average. I'm happy to say, if average is right, I've never been happier to be wrong. Sometimes people need to hear a certain level of vulnerability and authenticity, and other times they need to tone down a little. So you really have to have a sense of the, you have to read the room. You can go further, and the further you go, the closer you get to that line, the farther you will go as a leader and the farther your team will go. If you're doing it right, a plateau is just like a flash of, okay, I need to make a change so I continue to adapt. It's a yeah. signal. Being aware of how you're thinking and feeling and then saying, okay, I know what this is. And then you got to shut it down. Imposter syndrome is like a, it's like a barometer. It tells you that you're constantly moving into new territory because if you stay the same at some point, you, you would become comfortable with it and you don't feel like you're pretending or you're an imposter. The percent often use what others see as weaknesses, be it personal struggles, unconventional ideas, or even flaws as key differentiators that set us apart. Embrace your weakness, embrace whatever you're struggling with, and you can turn it into a strength. When you lose your arm and you decide that life now becomes about possibilities and about what I can do instead of what I can't do, how can you not be inspired by that? That first time is the scariest it will be. And after that, you're off to the races because you know that feeling will never be more scary than that first attempt. We're talking about the 1%, how to be the 1%, and it's this point in the show, boys. We're extending it. It is somebody who helps leaders develop peak performance through biohacking, nutrition, and mindset coaching. Ex-commerce entrepreneur, agency entrepreneur, agency owner, building multiple brands from scratch while traveling the world and thriving as an athlete. She integrates neuroscience, biohacking, and functional health to help her clients design a life they don't need a vacation from. She shows us that true success is about balancing health and wealth, and she's got a no-excuse approach to others be fierce and unapologetic. This is really what it's all about talking about how to improve how to really drive yourself i love the morning show vibe i think there should be more of it 